Many parents worry about keeping the children with them while the divorce is pending. In my years of family law practice, I've had many clients ask, can I get a temporary custody order? Hi, my name is Miles Mason. I'm a divorce attorney in Memphis, Tennessee. We represent clients in the greater Memphis, Bartlett, Collierville, and Germantown, Tennessee areas. In this message, I explain the process of obtaining temporary child custody orders in Tennessee. Requests for temporary custody orders are filed in the cases of divorce, legal separation, annulment, and actions for separate maintenance. So you just need to understand any temporary custody order will be replaced with a permanent order when the divorce or other type of case is final. As you'll see, obtaining temporary custody orders is not a given. Let's start from the beginning. There are two most common reasons for requesting temporary custody orders. Reason number one, there's an emergency situation. Either parent can request a temporary custody order to protect the child. For example, one parent may request a temporary custody order to prevent the other parent from removing a child from the court's jurisdiction, to protect the child from an abusive or neglectful parent, to get the child away from an you know, otherwise harmful environment. An emergency petition for a temporary child custody order may be made initially ex parte. Ex parte means no notice of the petition was given to the other parent. Consequently, the other parent is prevented from participating, arguing, or even presenting evidence. It's because the other parent is left out that the court must review its temporary emergency custody order within 15 days as required under Tennessee rules of procedure. The review hearing is the other parent's opportunity to present his or her side of the story to the judge. After evidence and testimonies provided by both parents at the hearing, the judge will either continue the order, modify the order, or terminate the order. One more thing about emergencies. An accident that puts the custodial parent in the hospital for an extended period of time, for example, could be a reason for the non-custodial parent to request a temporary custody order. The court can order temporary child custody whenever an emergency situation arises even after the divorce is final. Reason number two. In this situation, there is no emergency, but one parent wants the status quo maintained or stopped with a temporary court order until a final order is entered. It's possible that both parents want a temporary order, say if they're arguing all the time. They may, they may even agree on a temporary parenting plan. In many cases where the parents are communicating well, they may want a plan in place so they both know what they're doing with regard to legal decision making and child care. When parents agree, it's possible that only one will file a proposed temporary parenting plan which the, which the court may adopt by default. Before the divorce, either parent may file a petition asking the judge to order a temporary parenting plan. What happens next depends on the circumstances. The judge will either rule on the petition or not rule on the petition. The judge, in many cases, may prefer not to rule on the petition, instead waiting until the trial and issuing permanent orders then. Especially in those situations when, a parent, when the parents don't have a genuine heated dispute, there may be a legitimate reason for waiting till the end of the case. Any hearing on temporary custody is likely to take just as long as a full-blown custody trial. In other words, one custody battle in the case is sufficient for many trial judges. Judges resist inviting another battle over temporary custody questions when possible. It's always possible the parents won't agree on a temporary parenting plan. What happens then? If the judge decides to rule on a, a petition for temporary custody orders, then the parents will likely be ordered into mediation just as if they were in, not in agreement on a permanent parenting plan. If mediation doesn't resolve their, their differences, then a hearing could be held. Both parties will present their cases at the hearing along with evidence, just as they would in a custody trial. That the judge may not choose to rule on temporary custody doesn't mean you shouldn't file the petition. If a temporary custody order is important to you, then talk to your lawyer about requesting it. Include your proposed, in your proposed temporary parenting plan with a petition, along with a verified statement of income. A judge's temporary order will include a temporary parenting plan. If your proposed plan 
is the only one submitted, the court might adopt it, but only after determining that your plan serves the child's best interest. Child support needs to be determined as well, including child support worksheets to be finalized and approved or ordered by the court. Tennessee has statutory minimum requirements for temporary parenting plans. The statute I'm referring to is Tennessee Code Annotated Section 36-6-403. You need to know what those requirements are before filing your petition for a temporary custody order. Most notably, your temporary parenting plan must comply with many of the same requirements as permanent parenting plans, even though the time constraints differ. I'm Miles Mason from the Miles Mason Family Law Group. Thanks for joining me.